Welcome to another episode of Cloudy with a Chance of VMware. The cloud is evolving rapidly and the channel is evolving rapidly along with the cloud, even if many of us don't realize it yet. And that is a story we're going to unpack in today's episode with my three guests. I have with me uh, Liesl van Staden, Solutions Sales Manager of Strategics, Abdul Musa, CTO of CoCreate, and Lee Seiss, Cloud Technology Lead at VMware South Africa. But I'm going to start with uh, you, Abdul, because CoCreate is a relatively new name on the South African um, technology landscape. Please tell us what it actually is and what it was. Uh, just to maybe take you back uh, in terms of where we've come from, I think it's important. So we used to be known as the old Fujitsu South Africa, part of a global entity part of the seventh largest ICT organization in the world in terms of providing various services and products in the market. We were fortunate enough to be presented with an option to localize the entity, which adds a lot of economic benefits to the countries in which we operate. And as of the 1st of April, we wholly transformed and we are now known as Co-Create Technology Solutions. Excellent. Liesl, what's the relationship between Co-Create and Strategics? Uh, so we are absolutely excited to be in a strategic partnership with CoCreate. Um, if we think about CoCreate, where they come from, uh, a leading brand, as what Abdul said, but with the emphasis on adding localized economic value, that means that together we have really put our heads together and um, delivering solution offerings based on on-premise or cloud services that will boost our South African economy. Um, so we are very, very excited about this partnership. And what has this got to do with VMware, Lee? So it's, it's quite a strategic uh, initiative with VMware as well. So Strategics being a local cloud verified partner of VMware. Um, we see Strategics as that cloud operator. They a representative of a local VMware cloud. And the channel models that can get be presented in front of that is, is quite interesting as well. And that's exactly where CoCreate fits in. CoCreate has the end customer relationships and the services that they deliver to the end customers in relation to managed services and so on, where Strategics is that back end um, platform that, that they leverage to, to um, offer the, the cloud services to end customers with. So it's quite interesting with the fact that CoCreate doesn't need to be a direct partner specifically, but they're an extension to our partner ecosystem and provides tremendous value into our end customers, solving those issues or those gaps that customers have currently. Abdul, what are the other benefits of this channel model? I think if we look at uh, the South African context and even further into Africa, we need to acknowledge that a lot of businesses and entrepreneurs are looking to penetrate this market. We see that the bigger players that were dominant in this market for many, many years have sort of monopolized the market to date. And we are looking at ways to change that. And important to us is the small to medium sized enterprises and other organizations that don't have the financial backing to actually go into the market and deliver these digital transformed services that most businesses are looking to adopt today. Because if you look at the digital conundrum in terms of where we're going to, if your business isn't digitally transformed or leading with a digital transformation angle, you find that a lot of these businesses are irrelevant. And having an ecosystem with a lot of these smaller businesses that can be more agile and help organizations transform become more and more important. So we're looking at uh, leading a channel where we can develop these organizations. Because we come from a global backing, which initially stems from, as I said, the Fujitsu global entity and partnerships with the likes of Strategics, and other entities, and that's probably where our name comes from, co-create, because we co-create solutions in conjunction and collaboration with industry to help and assist companies out there to digitally transform. That must generate a lot of new opportunities, do you? Absolutely, and I think just maybe touch on what, what Abdul was saying, for the small to, to medium-sized businesses, doesn't mean that they've got any less appetite to transform the market digitally, but very often the the, the cash flow or the wallet share isn't as what your large corporates would have. Now this plays into a place where you can enable a medium sized business that's got an aggressive solution that will transform this market and global markets, 
by offering them flexible solutions with the best skills, the best product and the best technology possible to enable that transformation solution that they would need. And Lee, what are the opportunities for VMware? So the opportunities is VMware is always a, a channel-led organization. Mm -hmm. Um, and as VMware, what we're good at is developing software, software to enable businesses. And that's exactly what we've done with Strategics. We've worked in partnership or closely with them to build out a platform that delivers a localized VMware representative cloud. And their channel models in front of that is a massive opportunity as well. There's areas of expertise that CoCreate brings and bringing that in combination with Strategics is an extreme value. And we really see our cloud verified partners as being a, a enterprise ready platform that enterprises could be comfortable mm. with hosting on. They're backed by that VMware branding and the, the credibility that we have from a technology stack. Mm. So VMware can't do it on our own. We're great at developing technology. We need partners like Strategics to come in and actually operate, build that cloud services model. And we need partners like CoCreate to actually take that to market and wrap their value added services or managed services mm. onto the front of that as well. Abdul, what does this mean for your customers? I think what it means for them is flexibility and choice. Um, a lot of customers typically embark on a journey where they get massive consulting houses to come and provide thought leadership. What we find in the industry, if you look outside of this partnership that we're discussing, most of the advisory services come from a theoretical background. So it's a paper-based exercise. You have the big consulting services tell you this is the direction you need to take. And most often, if you haven't come from the practicalities of understanding these things, you often make the wrong decisions. And where we're trying to bridge the gap in terms of this ecosystem and the channel-led approach is to augment and take the experiences that everybody brings to this industry and give the customers the correct advice so that they can make the right decisions and not go through a long learning curve in terms of saying, we've gone down the road of actually understanding a theoretical approach and we've gone with that and it's actually not the right thing to do. And if you listen to the strategics VMware co-create story, we talk about what is best fit for the customer. So talking about this cloud philosophy, most people think cloud means public hyperscale cloud, but in actual fact, there's a lot of other choices and it becomes a horses for courses discussion. What is best for the customer? Um, what is best for the business in terms of transforming their models. Not every single business is at the same level of maturity. And we can't paint everybody with the same brush saying, because you're a large enterprise, you can afford all these bells and whistles. And if you make financial mistakes along the way or you make the wrong decisions, it's not going to be detrimental to your bottom line. Whereas other businesses, key decisions impact the direct operations of their business and in terms of how they actually go to market. So it's very important that the way we drive the ecosystem and how we educate the channel ultimately leads into the correct decision making at the end customers. So Liesl, that means you really have to fine tune your offering to the customer. What does it look like when you take co-create? To the customer. Yeah, it gives us tremendous flexibility. So if you look at history with customers going out, if you look at its request for, for proposals, very often customers are asking for solutions that maybe matches their wallet or matches what they believe they can offer. However, this opens for us tremendous flexibility to solution, solutions that suits, suits that customer. So for instance, if it means the customer would like a consumption, true consumption based private cloud with a breakout into a local public or private data center, that solution is possible. What we can also do is with the services that we wrap around that is we can offer things like containers as a service. We can offer things like desktop as a service. So the customer is sitting in a position where they don't have to invest in massive IT departments or work like Abdul said with these consulting companies that can be costly and a long type of um, engagement model to get where you want to. We offer the quickest route to market by a repeatable blueprint to almost enable the business at clicks of the button. So that is what we are the repeatable solutions to enable transformation. Lee, this means that uh, vendors can choose their sweet spot in the cloud. How does VMware enable that? So VMware, I mean, if you look at the, the recent VMware, VMworld announcements, we see ourselves as a true multi-cloud vendor. 
Um, and I think that's testament to the, the relationships or the partnerships we've built in the major hyperscalers or public clouds as per se. But as a customer, I mean, those choices are there. And when it comes to sovereign requirements, um, we've got local cloud verified partners like Strategics that caters for those requirements. And there's a differentiation in that offering. Having a localized cloud gives you benefits for things which is, has been spoken about for a long time, but I think still has tremendous value around localization of, of data centers, um, latency, localized billing, the support you're getting is local, the people you're dealing with is local. So you definitely have a choice. VMware opens up that choice. And the choice is also to have localized um, providers to assist you, which I think is a, a tremendous uh, benefit for a lot of use cases. But this must create some complexity for the end user. Abdul, you going there with uh, co-create with strategics with VMware and the customer sitting across the desk and buying that service from you is saying, but I just want to buy VMware. How do you address that complexity of multiple um, players in that ecosystem? I think it's a very important point that you've raised. <clears throat> and what we've done very simplistically is we've bridged the gap between what business interprets as value from technology versus what technologists interpret value from technology. And we've managed to wrap these things up into turnkey offerings where I won't say we minimize choice, but we reduce complexities in terms of our go to market. So in a very simplistic way, we're able to articulate what the outcome and the value is that can be derived from all stakeholders within the business. And based on what the value proposition is, that is the selection and the correct selection of the technology stacks that need to drive the outcome of what business is looking for. If we look at what we've done quite successfully, um, we've recently launched a true consumptive model, which is quite unique in the industry compared to some of the other competitors, which is known as co-creates Red Sky offering, which is a cloud in a box solution where we can deploy that in any type of permutation, whether that's modernizing what the customers currently got within their own data centers. And we all know that most customers don't want to invest and embark on a journey to look after what we call the plumbing pieces of the ICT uh, world. They're looking at moving into digital transformation. So the words being thrown around is big data, analytics, blockchain, ML, um, how do you monetize information? That is where a lot of businesses are focusing on because it adds direct impact to the way that you drive business models. So having something underneath that that enables that journey is quite important. And what we've done in terms of creating this turnkey consumptive model with Red Sky is quite key. And it's a true consumptive model. So no upfront investments from end customers because we know in where we sit today, a lot of customers are cash strapped. Um, a lot of businesses have been hit hard in terms of this pandemic that we currently find ourselves within. So having the ability to generate revenue whilst you're actually paying for the utility services. Mm. Imagine if you have to worry about, and I know South Africa is probably quite unique with the load shedding scenarios that we find ourselves in. But imagine if you have to worry about the supplier generating your electricity before you get home. You don't want to be concerned about that. All you literally want to do is walk into the front door, flick the switch, and your light bulb should come on. If you need to cook a pot of food, your stove should just be able to turn on and the heat should be dispensated from the plates on your stove. And very similarly, that's how we've packaged this plumbing layer, which we call infrastructure as a service, which is a true consumptive model. Business being able to switch things on, use it when they want to, if not switch it off. And you only pay for what you need, irrespective of whether it's private, hosted or in your own data center. Imagine things working if you just uh, switch uh, a, a button and the lights go on. That would be a, an amazing <laughs> world. But how does VMware support partners like Strategics and Co-Create in this endeavor? So it's, it's actually a very interesting thing. So the business that we look after is a rental program. So it's a program where we provide licenses in a rental consumption basis. And at the end of the day, we see ourselves as the ingredients to an end solution like the co-create Red Sky. Um, in order to get that consumptive based model and that value proposition that, that um, Abdul just spoke about, there needs to be mechanisms put into place. And we see our program as that recipe for that mechanisms. We've got the, the tool sets, we've got the commercial models, 
and we've got the, the productization support, the go-to-market support, and all of that that comes on the back end of a solution like that, that enables somebody like CoCreate to put it together. So it, it's, it's quite an interesting model, and I think we play a big part in that sense, but we need people like CoCreate to take it to market and actually solve the end customer's problem or support the business model in that sense. I'm going to ask you, Liesl, to wrap up this discussion with a view of what the future holds for these kinds of partnerships. Okay, brilliant. I think today as we sit and if we look at since the pandemic, uh, the one, the two evident things that we can see is that more than ever technology is key for enabling business. We saw this technology was having to jump leaps and bounds to cater for where business as I wouldn't know if it's usual or unusual is today. But secondly, like Abdul was saying, that customers or companies are very sensitive on, on spend and what they're spending their money. So we're sitting in this catch-22 with we need to transform most aggressively at the moment, but we need to be considerate with our, with our finances. And this is what the solution brings. It gives you the flexibility to enable, to bring to market, to transform, to equip, while you can actually make sure that your cash is in the bank where it's needed to, to pay for other very, very needed services. There you have it. The future is flexible and cloudy with a chance of VMware. Thank you. <laughs>